I knew you were the one when I met you. This is someone who wants to reach out to you, but they don't know how to. I know that we have a soul connection. Every time my phone rings, I hope it's you. I've been working on myself and I am not the same as I was before. I want to reach out to you, but I don't know how to. Okay, the reason why they don't know how to reach out to you, um, it could be because of some type of confusion, some type of chaos, drama that took place in the past. You and this person have been in separation for a long time. They ghosted you because they wanted you to chase them. So this is someone who ghosted you and they thought they could get some type of reaction out of you. Um, and this could be why they don't know how to reach out to you. I'm hearing every time this person ghosted you, it was because they wanted you to chase after them. With confidence being on the bottom of this deck, this could, um, this could be the things that like boost up their confidence getting attention that they want. This is someone who really wants to talk to you. We have strength. Someone is very desperate and this is new love. Wow. So they could have also, whatever this confusion was, this chaos, ill intentions, somebody could have wanted them to feel as if you were someone that was very desperate. And they thought that they would, you know, play some type of game, ghost you, get you to chase after them. And um, somebody wanted to be seen as right. They wanted to prove their self right. It's like they came up with some type of conclusion about you um, that was not true and they made their self believe it. So they wanted it to be believable. Whoever this person is, they're realizing this was confusion. A lot of drama, a lot of chaos got started because someone wanted you to be viewed as somebody that's just desperate. I found out the truth. Now, whoever this person is that wanted you to be seen as someone that's desperate, they realized they needed to set boundaries with that person. Now they're in regret for how they treated you. Whoever this person is that wanted you to be seen as desperate, this was like a karmic masculine energy. This is someone that was a hidden enemy. And it's like now they're going through some type of bad karma. Because this is someone who was being sneaky. They didn't want this person to know that there were hidden motives behind this. This was definitely someone that was a karmic soulmate, whoever this um, karmic masculine is. We have the Two of Cups. 
We have the high priestess. So whoever the person is that um, wanted you to be seen as desperate, they knew that this person was like hiding the way they felt about you. So it's like they were playing a game with that person and they didn't know. This person felt like they would be able to play a game with you. And they didn't realize. It's like this is someone who did not intend to play some type of trick or some type of game. This could be gaslight you, lie to you. They came off as the same sneaky hidden enemy energy. It's like they didn't want to be seen that way. And it's like by the time they realized how they were being seen or the energy that they were in that was projected onto them, they were this person was in regret for how they treated you. They feel like it was a hidden motive. It was a lot of things that they were not paying attention to. They were avoiding. Yeah, but now they're no longer confused. Yeah, and they're guarded. It's like they've completely withdrew, walked away from that person. They feel like this is someone who um, felt like they had them confused. Now, if they were in some type of illusion because of this person, or they just weren't seeing that person clear for who they truly are. This went on for a long time. And this definitely could be someone that was close to them. Somebody that they did not expect to um, spend them the way that they spunt them. Yeah, this caused a major wake-up call. You have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, and it's like this hit. Whoever had this hidden motive, this person is someone that um they wanted to keep whatever this motive was, whatever they were doing in the past hidden. It's like they didn't want this King of Swords to see that they were their hidden enemy. But they also were trying to keep something hidden. This could be a past life connection that you share with this King of Swords. It's like they didn't want this to get out. They were worried. They were in fear. Because they felt like if this person knew that they were hiding this, they would leave them behind. Yeah. And this person would know that they did this out of jealousy. Out of envy. This is someone who just felt like they could sabotage this person. Um, sabotage this person's life. Or um, sabotage this past life connection. Because they knew beforehand. Yeah, they feel like this person will be moving forward, standing in their power. This is someone who will find out the truth about their life. Or them finding out the truth about this past life connection, it would help them to take a leap of faith towards new ventures in life. Towards the unknown. Studying and researching different things that they did not know. Getting enlightened. Getting on a path that they know did not involve them. Yeah, somebody is definitely disappointed because they ended up being left out. It's like this person exposed their self. For, for this hidden enemy. It's like they wanted you to be seen a certain way, but they're being seen that way. They're being seen as someone that's jealous, desperate. 
They desperately wanted to win at all costs to try to sabotage this um, past life relationship, past life connection. It's like you and this person are supposed to come together for a certain purpose. They didn't want that to happen. And they could have been spying on you. They could have been watching you. But they were only watching you because they knew the truth with justice being here. It's like they knew that you and that person share a spiritual bond, a spiritual connection. Once they realized that this person was trying to sabotage this connection, they realized that they needed to um, get their life in order, be more structured, do things more practical, have a lot of um, self-discipline. So they're able to discern this type of energy because this have been this person is someone who they have been attached to for a long time and they just never thought that this person would be um and this type of energy with them and if they knew that this was this this person is someone that's just jealous hearted envious always secretly competing with another person always intentionally wanting to cause hate harm to another person they never thought it would be them they were seeing all of the signs. They tolerated it for a long time. But they just never thought this person would do that to them. And when they ghosted you, they definitely did not want you to feel as if... It's like they didn't think that... It's like, I don't know why I'm getting the heat of the moment. They honestly thought that you were going to chase after them. But it's like they were allowing a lack mindset, a lost mindset to guide them. And they weren't guiding them. It's like they were just keeping them stagnant, keeping them out in the cold. And this, if this was someone that was like a close friend or family member, they didn't want to be left behind. So they felt like if they can keep that person out in the cold, they will stay out in the cold with them. This could be someone that's unsure of their life. They don't know what they want to do with their life. And they just feel like if they can't control their life, um, they have to keep some type of control over that person's life in order to hold on to them. And they felt like Whatever they did not know, it was best for them not to know because it will prevent them from making the changes that they need to make. It will prevent them from getting enlightened, gaining clarity, being able to stand in their own power. This is someone who definitely wants to reach out, communicate with you. We will be, we will be together again soon. Then you have jealousy. Then you have unblock me. Twin flame. Not the right time. So this was definitely, whenever this took place in the past, they ghosted you. It wasn't the right time for you and them to come in union because this person needed to see the truth about the person that they have to leave behind. They have to see that this person is someone that's jealous. And it's like being in that energy, that person is easily tempted to try to sabotage things because they feel like if they're not doing something um, or something is not going their way, it's not going to go anyone's way. This is someone who wants to have all the control over another person's life, but not their own. Yeah, they could have told this person to ghost you, block you. 
Now you have Unblock Me being here. It's like right after they did all of this, they started missing you. They were thinking about you a lot more than normal. They could have started spying on you, watching you. Um, Cause they didn't understand why this was not working. Yeah, it's, you've helped them to find their true purpose in life. You've helped this person to see that they have a destiny, a higher purpose in life. And you've helped them want to heal in ways that nobody else could. This is someone who is forever grateful and thankful for being able to find you again, reconnect with you again. Now, they could be focused on money right now, their career, their finances. And their stability. Um, now, whoever this person is that wanted them to feel as if you had to chase after them and this was to prove a point to them something that they made up in their head about you being desperate this is someone who is upset it's like they're watching you and that they feel like you're mysterious they can't figure you out it's like they wanted this person whoever your twin is to feel like you're hiding something you can't trust that person you don't, I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting, I don't know why I just heard this, but you don't know what that person is on. Yeah, they definitely wanted them to think that you had bad intentions for um, them and they needed to watch out for you or something like that. But your twin feels like nobody compares to you. They feel lost without you. It's like they've been trying to make um, something work. And this could be the separation, them focusing on money, um, trying to keep their mind off of being in separation. But they, they feel more lost. Yeah, they feel like they've never encountered someone like you before there's no one who compares to you yeah now they're wanting to run away with you This is someone who just wants to get away from the world. They feel like you didn't deserve the way that they treated you. We have Virgo. You could be a Virgo. One of these people could be a Virgo. They got angry when they found out you were aware. So this could be someone that got angry when they found out you were aware of the twin flame journey. You were aware that this person was your twin and they just did not want that person to be around you because they felt like you would expose this. And somebody felt like they had like the upper hand on another person's uh, twin flame journey, their spiritual path, the connection that they have with their twin, the changes that they, you know, the changes that they have to make in their life, the lessons that they have to learn. Somebody felt like they had control over it. They would be able to prevent all of this. This could be someone who was getting like readings on you and this person. 
We have a toxic family dynamic. So yeah, this was somebody that was close to them. I'm glad this is over. So whoever your twin is, they're glad that the situation is over. They could have definitely found out that you're their twin. You were protected from this right person, wrong time. You have peace. Somebody is only focused on peace. Or this could be you and your twin. They also want to make peace with you. They don't want it to be any type of confusion um, between you and them. We have Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. We have a toxic ex try to use a child or children to keep you stuck. That person could be a Capricorn. We have positivity and this is your twin soul. A jealous friend. Do you still feel the same way? So there could have been a jealous friend and also a family member that were trying to create blockages. So, um, or they wanted you to be seen in a, a negative light. They wanted them to think that they needed to be careful around you. This could also mean a jealous friend could be an ex of yours that tried to use a child or children to keep you stuck. Yeah, this is the one who created some type of injustice legal matter. And they did this behind the scenes. They didn't think that they would get caught. Now, whoever this ex is, they thought they had you confused in a toxic cycle. And it's like, if you've detached from that person, they wanted people to feel sorry for them. Because this person started going through a lot of karma, negative karma. After you release them. And it's like, whoever your twin is, they could know your ex. This person could have been a jealous friend to your twin We have be authentic. You have the power. You're too amazing to follow everyone else. Forge your own path. So this is what you and your twin could be realizing. Um, these are people that could have wanted your twin to like follow them. Um, do whatever it is that they wanted them to do, live their life how they wanted them to live their life or how they live their life. And it's like now they're standing in their power or taking their power back, seeing their true potential, being their true and authentic self. Yeah, this is someone who needed to um, be the leader that they are. Somebody wanted them to like bow down to them, feel like they're beneath them. They have to listen to what they say. They could have felt as if your twin was naive. They would never use their intuition. They don't have their own mindset. Yeah, but this just left your twin at a crossroad. This jealousy... This trickery, it left them at a crossroad and it left them making a decision that this person did not expect for them to make. They didn't expect for them to see that they have a path of their own.
Yeah, it's like they had to show that person that they control their own life. They lead their own life. Now, whoever the person is that you were attached to that created this injustice legal matter, this person is someone who, like, um, somebody went to this person. And this is why they, they uh, created this injustice legal matter. Like, somebody went and lied to that person. They didn't know they were being lied to, whoever this ex is. And they could have been enraged, angry. And they went to the authorities, made false accusations, created some type of injustice legal matter. And they thought that they would be able to use a child or children to like keep you stuck. This is someone who wanted to be back in a relationship with you. They wanted to be in connection with you. Like this is someone who wanted to reconcile. And they felt like if this stayed hidden, what they did behind the scenes... You would reach out to them. You would talk to them. Um, you would need them. They would no longer feel left out in the cold. They would no longer be dealing with this poverty energy, this negative karma. Yeah, it's like th this is someone who viewed you as the main person in their life with the main female being here. But once you move forward and you've cleared your pathway... They didn't like that. So they felt like they could get behind the scenes with another person, create some type of legal situation for you, and you would just be confused. You would resort right back to um, the cycle that you walked away from, the confusion you walked away from with this ex. Yeah, they're in despair. This is someone who is in, in um, despair because they're disappointed they didn't get what they want. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. This person is stuck in guilt. They feel like they got played by this person, whoever this energy is that lied to them. This is definitely someone that was paying attention to you. This could be someone who felt like they were one-upping you by lying to your ex about something. They could have lied to make it seem as if you were in a relationship with someone, you moved on, you're dating someone, and that triggered whoever this ex is. But with the privileged lady being here, um, you could have been focusing on different goals, your career, Financial stability, your home life, your children or your child, if you have a child or children. Yeah, you were definitely focused on finances. Now, somebody was paid. Somebody was definitely like paid to do something. People could have been paid to make false accusations in this legal situation. And it's like this false person came to whoever this ex is as if it's like they knew that person was in despair. That person was disappointed, stuck in guilt because you've left them behind. You no longer want to be attached to them. So they felt like they were an easy target to try to get at you. That person would never see past um, this confusion that they had them in. It's like while this ex was doing whatever they were doing, it was immediately backfiring, but they could not see. It's like somebody got played trying to create some type of confusion in, in your life to get you to come back toward them.
We have Crossroads. And then you have the truth. This separation has allowed you to gain truth and clarity. It has allowed your twin to gain truth and clarity. They found out secrets. A lot was revealed during this separation. Yeah, and it's like now they're wanting to come toward you. They want to be honest about um, them ghosting you. We have unexpected. So this could be definitely with roll the dice unexpected. This could be a surprise. Now somebody was shocked when you distanced yourself from this ex. Because this was a toxic relationship. So there could have been a lot of going back and forth. You could have moved away um, from that person. They could have moved away. But somebody was shocked. They feel like this is something that they were not able to predict. This could be this ex. Like they did not see this coming. And it's like, after you've distanced yourself from them, you put up boundaries. Somebody was far apart, far away from the other person. And this happened how it was supposed to happen. Yeah. You have signs and synchronicities. Yeah, this is definitely how the universe set it up. Like that person ended up, um, it was just too much going on. It's like you had to set boundaries with that person, get away from this person. This person was too toxic, whoever this ex is. But once you got away from that person, remove that person from your energy, you started getting a lot of messages from the universe about your twin, about this spiritual bond that you and them share. And they've been getting all of these signs as well, but they could have been confused. They could have been avoiding them. They didn't know what it meant, but now they know that you and them have a soul connection. This is someone who has matured and they're starting to understand things from um, in, an enlightened mindset, a spiritual standpoint. Yeah. You have spiritual awakening, fear, anxiety. This was somebody's worst fear. Whoever knew about the connection before your twin knew and they were trying to um, get this person to see you as someone that was very desperate. Is something hidden about you. They shouldn't trust you. This was their, their worst fear has came true. Because your twin has gotten enlightened. And this has helped them to go through a rebirth. And then you have whoever this ex is. That person is stressed out. They're worried. They're going through a lot of panic attacks. Anxiety. They're stuck in regret. Stuck in guilt. Because they feel like they played their self. This person created a lot of drama. And they could be realizing whatever they were trying to put out there, they're getting right back. Yeah, they're going through a lot of obstacles, but this could be 10 times worse. And these are things that are hidden. These are things that they don't want anyone to know. They definitely don't want you to know. Um... Then we have single. This is someone who is stressed out because they're being seen as someone who tried to create a lot of obstacles, a lot of drama in your life because you chose to be single. You chose to isolate yourself. This person felt like you were dating someone, hooking up with another person, um, and this is why you no longer wanted to be attached to them or they were trying to prevent you from dating another person. 
getting to know another person. This is whoever this ex is. They thought that something negative would bring them something good back. Putting out negative energy, they would be able to gain something positive back. It didn't work like that. It's like the negative energy that they put out there, they're getting it back 10 times over. And this other person is as well. This was their worst fear. Their worst fear was your twin finding out about the soul connection and them being seen for who they truly are. Them being exposed for being jealous, being envious, and feeling like they have some type of control over the twin flame connection that you share with your twin because they found out before your twin. Now you have proposal on secret crush. So yeah, your twin is definitely wanting to come towards you. They've been secretly admiring you for a long time. It's like they're wanting to come towards you with a romantic love offer. Them finding out that you and them share a soul connection. They feel like their wishes are coming true. Their dreams are coming true. They could be having a lot of dreams about you. They could be getting a lot of signs, synchronicities, messages from the universe um, through dreams. You could be as well. A chapter in your life is coming to an end. Rest assured that beautiful things are ahead in this next chapter. Let go of all things that are out of control and move forward. There are more beautiful things ahead than any you will leave behind. So you could be knowing, knowing this now or noticing this now. Now that you have left certain person, certain people, a certain mindset behind, um, you're able to think more optimistic, think more positive about your life, about your future. You're able to see things from a different standpoint, a higher perspective. You're realizing the things that you had to leave behind were certain lessons that you needed to learn and those lessons serve their purpose in your life. These are lessons that you're never going to forget. Yeah, and it's like your twin is in that same energy. realizing that whatever this was um they're realizing that a cycle had to come to an end and it's like whoever the two people are like you had someone on your end this ex your twin had someone on their end this person that was on your twins end, they could have communicated something to your ex. These are people, as I said, they could know each other. Like your twin could know your ex. Whoever is attached to your twin, they could know that person. And they felt like they had one up on you and your twin. If they could get this ex angry, Try to use a child or children to keep you stuck. Your twin would keep their distance. They would not want to come around you. 
It's like somebody likes chaos, drama, confusion, negativity, drama. And if they were in fear of your twin finding out, they have manifested that into your twin's life. Because a lot of things that you fear will happen typically come to pass. But they weren't thinking about it that way. And they're definitely learning lessons as well. Whatever lessons they have learned, they're realizing that these were lessons that they needed to learn. They're not going to feel comfortable doing this to other people um, in the future. Because whatever they're putting out there, they're doing it to their self. They're going to manifest 10 times over. These are people that are realizing they didn't see them sabotaging their self coming. 